Hey there, I am back with a preview of Anatomica playing cards from Curio. Now, Curio is the creative banner for Jamie Morrison. He's a collector out of Washington in the United States. And you may know him as Bacon Wise online. Uh, he's a great collector and has a really nice eye for fully custom decks of cards. Like a lot of collectors though, he wasn't content just owning the cards. He wanted to produce his own deck of cards. So he reached out to an Argentinian based designer, uh, Amal Nur Karim, and worked with her to kind of bring to life his idea for an anatomy themed deck of cards. Uh, these are currently funding on Kickstarter. They've already reached their Kickstarter goal, but they've got about two weeks to go. So if you like what you see here, uh, go check out the link down in the description and uh, jump on board for the campaign. It's a great one. I'm a supporter for it uh, and really excited to see these get made. But Jamie was kind enough to send me this prototype version of the deck to share with you guys. Now, it's a prototype, so there's going to be a few differences between this and the actual deck that gets made. I'll call out some of those differences along the way, but this should give you a great idea of what to expect in the art uh, that kind of comes with this campaign. So let's get right into it. Now it is an anatomy themed deck and the tuck case is done in this beautiful deep maroon color with white artwork throughout. Uh, features Anatomica down the side, the name of the deck, and then on three sides of the deck is this beautiful skeletal image. It's the rib cage and then the spine down the spine of the deck of a skeleton. Uh, beautifully drawn, all hand-drawn art on this. Uh, and on the actual deck that gets made, this is really gonna be amped up with embossing and foil to really kind of bring this design to the next level. But looks great. I love this, this sort of monochromatic color with just the white and the maroon. As you turn to the sides, you get more bo bones adorning the sides of the deck and on the top. Of course, you're gonna have some ad copy on the bottom. Bones on the inner flap. So just a very cool design to the tuck overall. And gotta say, I love the color of this one. Uh, so that's the tuck case. Can't wait to see this one with the embossing and foiling. I think that'll really uh, amp it up even more. Uh, but let's get into the cards themselves. We'll start with the back design. Now, Jamie's a big fan of you know trying to bring the theme throughout the entire deck. So we're gonna see anatomy in every single aspect of this deck. So of course, the back design just screams the theme. I really like what's going on in this one. It's just a white card back, but then you have the uh, the heart beating heart there in the middle and then surrounded by kind of a hodgepodge of bones from the human body. You have the spine running down the center, the pelvic bones on the top and the bottom. And these, what I'm guessing are like leg and arm bones running down the side to create the border. Uh, you have tendons reaching out and kind of filling in the white space. It's a really cool and kind of grotesque look, almost like a anatomy experiment gone wrong. Uh, but very fun look to it overall. I like that he included the nice thin white poker border. Keeps it a nice functional deck, but at the same time with that super thin border is gonna look great in fans. So there's the back design of the cards and we get more of it as we go through the cards themselves. So here's the two jokers. Uh, you know, first glance, they feature a couple of poses of a classic jester, but of course they're gonna be given that anatomy twist. Uh, and so if we zoom in on one of them here, we have the jester standing, and you can see that part of the jester is kind of peeled away, revealing anatomy beneath. And so you've got the bones there, the muscles showing. Uh, it's a very cool, again, kind of grotesque feel to it overall. And he even adds a little bit of fantasy. So this isn't like a super realistic anatomy, so much as anatomy blended with fantasy. And I love this little touch here at the top with the jester's cap there. And the little point there is hiding kind of a protrusion in the skull. So it's almost like the cap is actually the shape of his skull. So it's cool little fantasy elements like that that I think just add some kind of fun and whimsy to the deck overall. So there's one jester. And I think I like the other one even more. I got a sword swallowing jester. But as you look at the peel away here with the organ showing, you can even see the sword as it goes down his throat. Very cool look uh, and kind of reinforcing that almost horror feel to the deck overall. There's your two jokers. You get a fun ad card that features Jamie and the artist Amar Nur Karim, Amal Nur Karim. Uh, and of course, in anatomica fashion, their faces are kind of peeled away, revealing some anatomy as well. So a cool uh, creative or ad card on this one. Uh, the pip cards all the way through the number cards are all fully custom and work in some anatomy theme as well. 
Uh, some of the pips are going to be just a pretty classic. So like you see the black hand drawn, you can see the hand shading on that one uh, with a little bit of gray coming through. Uh, some of them are more classic pips, including the one used in the pip and index in the corner. While others of the pips are these sort of peeled away pips or dissected pips, where you can see the black is kind of peeled back and revealing some semblance of an organ underneath. Very cool touch. And I like that as you go through the number cards, they're sort of asymmetrical. What I mean by that is you've got some of the pips that are going to be just the standard black pips, some of them the peeled pips, and they're just sort of mixed and matched as you go through the cards. I really like when decks do that and kind of and don't do all the same pips or kind of standard pips across. All of the other suits feature custom looks to them overall, uh, all sorts of randomish organs underneath. So there's the hearts, that pink with the veins running through it, and then the peeled away version. And then as you get into the clubs, they're going to be inspired by the skeleton. So you've got kind of the tip of a rib cage there at the bottom. These are probably my favorite. I like the club pips a lot. And then the diamonds, uh, which feature a peel away, and I guess that's kind of muscles underneath, maybe. But there's your diamond pips. Very fun pips overall, and yet still really functional. Nice, uh, easily usable pips. Uh, but the aces and the uh, court cards really bring that, uh, that theme even more to the forefront. So all four aces feature big, bold pips uh, that all go after kind of different uh, systems of the body. I'll explain what I mean in a second. So here's the Ace of Spades, the Power Ace, uh, just because it's got the name of the deck down there at the bottom, Anatomica playing cards. And then the Spade Pip itself is made up of elements of the central nervous system. So you have the brain and the gray matter being the most prominent part, and then sort of nerve fibers and things like that running up top and bottom. Uh, but very cool look to it overall. Again, kind of keeping that grotesque theme. Uh, kind of that slightly unsettling but still really fun look to it overall. The hearts go after the circulatory system. Fittingly has the actual human heart there in the center and then more organs all around it. Uh, the clubs go after the skeletal system with the skull and then the rib cages forming the classic club pip shape. And the diamonds are inspired by the muscular system. Uh, so the tongue is said by some to be the most powerful muscle in the body. Uh, the jaws have some of the more powerful muscles. So for the diamond pit, he featured this gaping mouth. Uh, this one probably exemplifies that slightly uncomfortable fun feel more than any others. I love this pip. I think it's a lot of fun. This is probably the biggest conversation piece out of the whole deck is that ace of diamonds. Uh, so there's your four aces and then you get to the court cards and kind of like we saw with the joker these feature that kind of peel away design all done on completely custom and redrawn court cards and you'll see they've got a little bit of a cultural flair to them uh, each suit in addition to being inspired by one of the different systems of the body uh, is also inspired by a culture. So the spade pips all go after kind of more Arabic style courts. And you can see that in the styling, whether it be the skin tone, the clothing, the sword that the, the king of spades here is holding with that curved scimitar. Uh, but very beautiful artwork on these. I think uh, Amal did a fantastic job with the artwork on these. I love the detail and those peel aways to feature outstanding details, whether it's the brain showing up at the top or the nerves running all through the body. So very cool court cards. And then as we go to the hearts, we go to a different culture and a different system of the body. So these feature more Asian style courts here. Uh, very cool. These are uh, probably my favorite of the courts. I love the look of the head headwear that they're all that they all have on them. But great two-way court designs. Uh, and now we have the circulatory system with those blood vessels running all the way through. Uh, then you get to the clubs inspired by the skeletal system and the court cards of Europe. So you have European courts uh, with all of their uh, skeletal uh, systems showing. So they've got the bones running up and down. And last but not least are the diamonds, which are inspired by African royalty and the muscular system. And so another one of my favorite core cards, I really like the King of Diamonds. This is a really powerful look to it. I like that sword that he's holding. So there's your diamond quartz. So beautiful two-way court designs. Now, I can't give too much of a review on the handling of these deck because these are just printed by MPC. Uh, so they're not going to handle the same as the others. I will give MPC a little bit of a nod. MPC decks are starting to handle really nicely. Uh, so you can see there with the 
really thin border, how nicely those show up in a fan. Uh, so props to MP MPC for that, but that's not who's gonna be printing your deck. Uh, this deck that you see here is actually gonna be printed by USPCC, so that's what to look forward to. You know what you're getting with their handling, always great. Uh, but this is only one of the two versions. There's actually a second, more limited version of the deck. Anatomica is the standard, and then you have the white tuck for the Alterna deck. Another beautiful design. This one's gonna be limited to 800. It's gonna feature foiling and embossing on the tuck case, just like on Anatomica. And it's gonna feature some differences in the cards themselves. On a deep maroon background, they're gonna feature one-way court designs that give you some extra look to the court cards. And you're gonna get cold foiling on the fronts and the backs of the cards. To that end, the uh, the alternate deck's actually gonna be printed by Cardamundi. So you've got USBCC for Anatomica, Cardamundi for the Alterna deck. So that is it. That is the look at Anatomica. Hope you enjoyed this look. Hope you guys will consider backing the campaign. I think Jamie and Amal have put together something really, really nice here. Uh, so I'm super excited to see this one come to life. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks uh, to Jamie for sending me this one to check out. Really enjoy getting a chance to break it open. Uh, but that's it for now. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings and let me know what else you want to see in the future. All right, and I'll see you for the next one.